think it's critically important that you do a comprehensive assessment of a patient's pain complaint. I am very fond of a multi-dimensional assessment, so characterizing everything you can about the pain. I think it's important to look at non-pharmacologic as well as pharmacologic therapies of pain. We were just talking about fibromyalgia earlier. I think it's important to look at stretching and uh, acupuncture and acupressure and things like that along with the drugs. I think when you're picking drugs, I'm a very big fan of rational polypharmacy, which is using drugs from different pharmacologic classes that have complementary but different mechanisms of action so that you can use two or perhaps three drugs at lower doses instead of one drug at a higher dose. That way you can attack the pain from different perspectives and hopefully have fewer adverse effects associated with the medications. And I think another really important thing is educating patients about realistic expectations for managing their pain. We probably will not make this pain a zero, so if we can make a clinically important impact on the pain, that's a good goal. So for example, a 30% reduction on a zero to 10 pain scale. So if someone's pain is a six, getting it down to a four as a first step is a good goal. Mm -hmm and explaining to patients that I may not know the magical drug that will work the best for them right out of the gate, but I will keep swinging and I'll be with them every step of the way. And People appreciate you being honest with them and saying, you know, I'm committed to doing the very best that we can together, but this is a partnership, and as a matter of fact, the patient is the captain of the ship. I'm there to supply um, knowledge and absolutely be a cheerleader for the patient, but the patient is the one who has to take charge of their own destiny, too.